Who am I about to fucking kill? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was me. Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I am Vin Stone. That is Jordan Swing. That is Pedro. I thought I was, ah. Also, ah, uh, for the ah. awesome. And Pedro is just Pedro. Yes. Pedro. Uh, they have name, we have like bonus name tags now. Because uh, our Jitsi server, Jitsi did a thing that broke our perfectly working Jitsi server, and uh, in the process of trying to fix it, we broke it more. Oh, hey, that's the LGC way. I look forward to tangoing with that. Uh, yeah, we're going to be getting right into it in just a minute because we got a guest on the line. We've called him up, um, somebody who's opened Unity for more than thirty minutes, which kind of runs circles around the three of us. It's done more than installed it. But before we get started, anybody been up to anything interesting? Uh, I, I guess I, I started collecting diecast Mazda 2s. <laughs> diecast Mazda. Yes, you've been posting little picture cars. Yes. <laughs> Make, making it, Steve but... very upset. Yeah. <laughs> I got a massage I Yes, massage I have the today. one Tamika one. <laughs> you got a massage. Nice. Yeah, that was, that was nice. Uh, my, my, uh, my wife got a, like a two-for-one massage certificate, so we went and got a massage today. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, it was. And, um... The, the, the masseuse kind of freaked out when he saw how jacked up my back was. You're like, nope, next, to, you're out. To, 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 the, to the point where I can hear his arms popping and cracking, attempting to get rid of my shit. It was, it was good stuff. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I haven't been doing anything I, outside of like the Jitsi thing. Like, I discovered that Wednesday after doing an update on Tuesday, and we're very much in the finally at the part of the negotiations where they're like, oh, well, maybe it is a problem. You know, after you go through the, um, here, why don't you try to change these random things and see if that magically fixes it before I actually look at it and try to debug it. And you don't want to be like, can we just skip this step? You always, you always want to skip that step, but it's like the most necessary step. It's that's where, that's where all the, that's where all all the information is. Yeah, I I understand. And like, we, we've gone through that. So, uh, is as it is. So, uh. What game engine does the horse run on? Uh, unfortunately, the horse runs on a custom engine written uh, purely in brainfuck. Uh, but uh, that's not relevant to uh, that's not relevant to right no. now. We got to talk. We got to talk about uh, the Unity stuff. Oh, well, we got to do the Steam update of the week. I, I guess it's the maintain it's fucking the, continuity. God damn it! It's the Steam <laughs> update. <laughs> oh. Well, I, uh, yeah, okay, what, whatever, sure, what, uh, yes, but uh, Unity, Unity did did a boo boo. It's not explicitly Steam related, but it affects a lot of games on Steam and maybe even Steam itself. And we have another person to talk about it with us, and yes. he's Hello. muted. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Scott. Here. I'm here. <laughs> it's Michael Sarah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. Oh, okay. So we already had uh, Seth Rogen. Uh, now we have Michael Sarah. Okay. <laughs> or or uh, or Michael Michael Ian Black from Stella. That's, that was the other option. Okay. So check this out, <laughs> Scott. A uh, little bit of background. What do you do? What have you been around? Like you know about game engines? Yeah, a decent amount. Um, so I've done. Uh, so in terms of game dev, uh, I've worked with uh, VR Studio in Toronto, uh, has done uh, stuff in Unreal and Unity. Uh, I've worked with uh, Last Epoch, myself, the uh, Yandere dev, uh, Android developer guy, and similar developer a little bit. Uh, I also did my own stuff a little bit as well. Um, and then uh, for the last year and a half, I was uh, working with uh, Light Twist, still working in the contract, but not full time anymore. Um, and uh, they were started off Unreal, went to Unity for it because they uh, were doing Mac OS apps, and Mac OS support on Unreal was not the best, especially after the lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> and, although it's been apparently getting better. Um, and then the uh, after that, they went back to Unreal. Uh, and by the way, if you are saying something, I lost all audio after that. I'm not sure if I'm intentionally muted or not. And now here's something. Yeah, we were letting you talk. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all you, that's that was all us not stepping sure. on your toes. I wasn't sure. Yes. I was like, you, 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 are, you are the guest here. We're, we're here, we're here yeah. to defer to you. We're, we're, we're not accustomed to being polite, Scott. This is, uh, we, we got to maintain focus and we find it hilarious. We, 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 call, we call this the Canadian standoff up north here. So uh, after you, no, after you, no, after the you, no, after you. No, 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 yeah. we're not going to be having a polite off. All right. Draw on the line there. 
<laughs> but like, uh, so we're, 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 we're talking about unity because, you know, if, unless you've been living under a rock, they have announced yeah. that there's a new uh, pricing plan and packaging update, uh, that includes some provisions that are at face value, not too, not too bad, but it's sort of the broader, Brilliant the broader Mortimer. scope of the change that, uh, yeah. that has people up, up in a twist. So, uh, yeah. Scott, Scott, what is it? So for the longest time, unity was branding themselves as the royalty free engine. Um, and now, just now, they decided that uh, I believe if you're in the free category, you're not you're immune to this as long as you stay under two hundred thousand uh, in revenue. Um, although, based on unless something changed recently, uh, when we asked them last uh, about a year ago, when they count revenue, they count total revenue of your company. Um, so example they gave is like, if we were working for a billion dollar in a uh, company doing training software, our revenue would be a billion dollars, even if we are just, you know, some small little segment of it doing a training. So if you get like a bitching hot dog stand side business, they're going to count that. Uh, apparently even count merch and stuff like that too. Yeah. If Especially if it's the same company. Oh, so, yeah. so, yeah. so if, if you're making hot dog simulator, <laughs> don't also run a hot dog restaurant. Or something like that. Again, I'm not sure on that one if they they may have changed that recently, but that's what I heard as of like a year ago. Um, I was looking for something else, but uh, regardless, so that's that's the revenue. But if you if you're, if it's your like purely free and you're just doing it on the side, just you know whatever, I don't think this accounts for you. Uh, but if you go over the free threshold and the install thresholds, both of them, uh, from what I understand, then they'll start charging you per uh, seat of the end user, not developer, like the end user per install. And uh, one thing that they said originally was that was per, like if you reinstall that it would, it would count, like, like if someone installs in the same computer like 12 times because they reinstall, you know, they do uh, reinstall for their OS or whatever. They clarified that and said that doesn't count. Instead, it's different devices. So if you have three computers and a Steam Deck, that's four installs. No matter how many times you install them on each, it's still four installs. However, that's four installs the developer is getting charged for starting in 2024. But I and mean, that, you know, run run times are expensive, Scott. And it's it, it's very it's very hard to spook. <laughs> I mean, Mac, we, we Mac all OS. have to pay Microsoft for .NET, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The thing that uh, you're going to do. Is <laughs> I don't remember a .NET license off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's open source now. It was a joke. Okay, yes. like, yeah. That, that, that was got, a joke. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, like, they were going after Java specifically with the free thing, so I don't know. No, no, no. Microsoft's looking at this, and they're just jelly. They're like, huh. Yeah, <laughs> How come we didn't come up with that. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, the, 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 the the rollout of this uh, is is also kind of controversial because like um the, you know oh, yeah. they 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 announced that there was a public Unity repo that was like uh, allowing people to track changes and they kind of, and that includes license changes and they kind of took that down and then amended their licenses uh, very very quietly before anyone could really notice that they're basically giving themselves the ability to retroactively change all of these terms of services and so on yeah. and so forth including the clause so. that says they won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which is which we we've investigated ourselves and determined that we've done nothing wrong. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Um, so I so the 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 question of developer trust has come up, and uh, I was, we we in the show notes we got it. We got a post from uh, from Gary Newman. We we all know and love Gary. Uh, we we got, uh, I I was also seeing uh, similar sentiments from uh, Rami Ismail on Twitter, where it's basically um you know uh, most most developers aren't going to fall within like the the sales threshold or the install threshold. But the fact the fact that they're doing it this way, the fact that they're trying to like sneak stuff into um, sneak stuff into the it's license, shady as hell about it. Yeah, oh, it's completely oh, it's mm-hmm. completely shady as hell. And you say de- uh, and you say developers, but not just developers. What if the developer is looking to get purchased? They're going mm-hmm. going to the, the people who are going to buy them are going to be like, well, you're making game with Unity. Can we trust you? Mm-hmm. And, and that and, might affect uh, their sale price or whatever, right? Like, right. Yeah. Imagine like Devolver Digital, like with as many like indeed companies that you know oh, yeah. they, they bring in they're like what engine are you using by the way because that's going to be cutting into their profits to, 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 to that point game pass and stuff like that they were saying oh we're not going to charge the end user developer we're, no, we're going to be charging charge microsoft. microsoft we're going to uh, charge valve good luck and, with that yeah, yeah. We're gonna and, charge and, microsoft so and, and, and they're yeah, going to be like oh so what, what, what's what's that game engine you're using unity <laughs> uh, no maybe you want to use like uh, xna or something uh, easy peasy man yeah unreal we, we got we got some partnerships with uh with tim yeah um, yeah. But yeah, and uh, that that and you know e- even they say um, 
Oh, well, it's it's going to be based on like per device fingerprints. That's easy enough to spoof. And there's like a lot of malicious shit you can do. If I wanted to charge a developer a lot of money, I could just create a script that creates a virtual machine, installs your game, deletes the virtual machine, installs a new virtual Very machine, installs the game. In the yeah. Q, uh, QMU KVM. Well, I think just one of the things. Spin one up, install, bye. Scott, you, you <laughs> get your hands on with the Unity. So one of the things uh, I saw a lot of people bring up, and I said, how are you going to track this? Yeah, and to, and to quote them, they said, we are going to leverage our own proprietary data model so you can appreciate that, well, we can't really go into detail, but we believe it gives us an accurate uh, determination of the number of times the runtime is distributed. All right, that's some straight up, just trust me on this bro bullshit right there. Mm-hmm. Bro, yeah, don't worry about it. make some shit up and you'll never know. Yeah. Look at this graph. <laughs> okay, like... Like I said, you've worked for companies like I using mean, Unity. How, would it, how would that sit? And in this theoretical situation of like, so we don't even know how you're going to be tracking our installs and what you're going to charge us? We just trust you I, on that? Yeah, I've seen some people complain about it, but I'm thinking at that point, they're already angry and the response, even excluding that, would still be only four-letter words. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so like, um, yeah, I mean... End user trust having all that extra tracking possible in the end, you know, user stuff like, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things I can think of, like, you know. Well, gathering tel- telemetry, like a, yeah. a couple of years ago when I realized like it was brought to my attention, I think we talked about it in the show that Unity had uh, telemetry like default on all the time. I'm like, oh, okay, watch, I'll fix that in the router. It'll take 10 seconds. Done. Yeah. Yeah. So I, real, really easy to set a pie hole. I make a point of removing those packages when I create a new install. I can't guarantee that I've been 100% successful, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've been set it to remove those. Well, I mean, even if you include that, I mean, you can, as a developer publisher, you can have the option in game to enable disable telemetry, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. We've seen um, it I believe a of games? what you're talking about is one is enable the package manager. You could actually remove the entire module. Um, and it will only track editor, is, if I remember correctly, but it's been about two years since I've seen that setting, so I'm not sure exactly. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there is there is telemetry that is enabled by default. Um, but last I remember, the developer, if they know to look in the package manager, which is kind of a weird place to look for it, uh, can remove it. Like, why would I bother? I'm just making yeah. a game, bro. And and telemetry, no. <laughs> Bye. And, and, and honestly, what is to stop people from just like setting up a firewall block for like the Unity phone home thing? But did you see they they have special sauce, Jordan? Booger, booger. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah they, so they they get <laughs> trust me, bro. Ah, it's, it's it's the Steam charts method of uh, they're of going extra, to enforce it by obfuscating exactly how they're doing it, so no one will be able to block. Yeah, it yeah that's a good way to make yeah, sure that somebody great. finds out exactly what metrics you're using, Unity. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm the, looking forward to. Yes, the, 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 but so, so so some some of the reception has been a little while because like you know you know when it, whenever someone makes a controversial move in in the tech space, uh, usually there are some yahoos that uh, immediately jump to making death threats. Uh, except this oh, time, the death threats were coming from inside the house. Man, <laughs> the, the, the employees were not having it. They're like, "Yo, this is a bad idea. I'm gonna blow up the office." dude yeah, okay on, on top of, of that that was all. right exactly a strange timing on that one right mm-hmm. yeah and i was like well that sounds like some interesting fiction story ah, that i yeah. would write and it's going to be great when this is like the made for tv movie right that's going to be a scene oh yeah yeah the the, the, hall, the hallmark <laughs> version of this i would watch this on hallmark Man, or uh, whatever that uh all oh, the, the guy who makes all those police shows uh dick wolf i think his name is. <laughs> dick wolf <laughs> Yeah, law, 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 law and order, special unity unit. Oh man, right. uh, so Scott chum, chum. is. Uh, you might have know this. Is, is, when I first read this, it, they're going to be doing. If you agree to the new terms of service, which you have to do to continue using Unity when this comes at the end of the year, this is going to apply to projects retroactively. Correct? Yeah. So they. Uh, well, I mean, that is what the license that they put back up said. Uh, there's still a lot of time for them to, you know, get sued. <laughs> but um, do you, do yeah, you think there's um, going to be a class action? Well, I mean, if people signed on to it and they didn't upgrade their editor, I don't see. I mean, I'm not sure class action, but I mean, I don't see how they could enforce it if someone had a copy of that license and the editor version that they used and they never updated it. I don't. And I know there has been some developers that stick long uni versions ago like how many times mm-hmm. we see the uni scream of nope after 
you know, 2019 oh, yeah. was around. <laughs> so and, and, I don't know how they enforce it on that. Um, maybe they just won't and they just don't say they aren't. Like, it's possible they could just have that telemetry in and just never remove a bill and just pretend that they're doing it so the air people who are paying aren't getting mad. But I don't know. Like, I, I, it's, it's, it, that, that one I can't really give a good answer for because it hasn't happened yet. But um, if it does happen, I mean, there is, from my understand, and if people signed the original license and they didn't update it to a new license, if they happen to notice, um, then, like, so, I don't so, know so what then, they legally do. They legally said they couldn't do this. So, so that 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 kind of, that kind of pivots to like, um, like what 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 is a developer to do, right? Because there, I know there's a lot of studios out there that are saying like, hey, we're not going to use Unity and, anymore. We have our game that we're we're starting to work on, and we're going to like delay it so that we can transition to a new engine. Uh, but there are a Which lot of games where the death of like most games. When oh yeah, yeah. Engines, that's not oh, a uh, good sign. And 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 beyond beyond that, it's like what what about the games that already are already like. 80 to 90 percent done in unity their their yeah. development is probably going to stretch to the end of the year they're going to get hit by this and there's no realistic way for them to pivot they're going to fall under they're going to fall under this whether they like it or not and hopefully yeah, they that's... get enough revenue they can recoup and just you know take the licks and keep moving the next time if they can assuming unity doesn't relent or something like that you know initially when this was first announced everybody i sit back and i'm like okay you know what this feels like because we've seen it before and we'll see it again it's the play like introduce some just completely unbelievable bs like right there give the internet a few days and come back with like okay we're gonna you know we've listened we've understand and just and, you know make it look like you've dealt back and just keep introduce the things that you initially wanted to get introduced you know they've done that with the whole you know chairman mao uh um, dummy contract reddit was a good example when they had the interim c ceo and they made all the changes and then they you know she left and they put in the real ceo and Reddit's like, yeah, we did it. And like, they didn't change anything. Dipshits. We did it. Internet. You know, that we're, I yeah, don't think we're going to get that. The only the, rollback. Yes. I was just going to say, like, uh, it was the same thing with the, with the D&D stuff earlier this year. Except yes, we actually got it. Yeah, the mm -hmm. coast, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did that. Uh, the only rollbacks I've seen is they've uh, apparently, because initially this was even going to apply to WebGL. Mm, browser and, fingerprinting. Yeah. Oh boy, yeah. yeah. And they were like, okay maybe we'll roll that back i was reading a guy who made a post on hacker news is like that was my entire business and like fortunately they rolled that back um so is moving have you have you even cracked open ghetto i have not cracked open ghetto i've done a bunch of weird engines including lumberyard and uh ogre 3d even a, even, uh, not ogre i've even done unigen at one point um it was brief and the contract didn't actually go anywhere but um but uh, not, not Godot. I have not done Godot yet. Um, I am very interested in it, but it's just never had the opportunity. Yeah, I think it's going to have a tough time with this. This is like one of those times where I wish all the pieces were together because we talked about like one of the big hangups for Godot is no way for you personally as the developer to get a console port out of Godot because of the nature of being open sourced and you mm -hmm. they won't do licensing can't, issues in SDK. Can't ship the, X, yeah, uh, the Xbox SDK. I thought there was something where they were able to, if you go on a private license, I thought they said Godot so, had... So uh, they, they have yeah, a they, porting service. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. they, 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 they have a company that they started. And like to, to that point, like now now's the time they got to like start shopping that around. They got to start like getting funding. They got to start pumping the gas on that because there's going to be someone a lot posted, of developers. Yeah, someone posted a picture uh, on Discord about like the number of uh, new additions made to a bunch of different github repos and uh most of them were like 400 300 and at the top there was godot with um uh, 4500 so uh so clearly uh, people are paying attention yeah the the yeah, the, I mean, the, yeah. the thing though is like godot still is especially for 3d in a very immature state like mm -hmm. they're like it it, it it is getting better and like the, yep, the, the would... progress they're making is astounding but like we don't, we don't have a lot of like well-received games uh, well, well, well received 3D games that are done in Godot. People like, are still uh, playing with it. I mean, it's the yeah. whole knowledge base thing, too. Like, if you're going to get into game dev, man, you're going to go where you can find the most help. And this is not just game dev, I don't assume. Correct me if I'm right, Scott, but like with any other project, like, where's the largest knowledge base? When I type into the Google box, how I do thing, whatever project gives me the most results for how I do thing with the wealth of like different ways to do a thing, that's or usually the thing I'm game. attracted to. Or uh, education. Right, like what? What are schools teaching? Right, it's, it's going to be the easiest one to pick up, and uh, Unity's definitely got that. Like they, they've spent some money doing that, man. 
But yeah, they actually spend a lot of time uh, developing their learning uh, stuff, resources. And I mean, there is a lot of errata and stuff like oh, that. Oh, imagine but, like, like if you're in like year two of like going to school and you've been learning Unity. Like that's that's your thing. Like, god damn it. <laughs> Yeah. Do you yeah, know about forward, this unless like, you're actually actively following it outside of class? Because probably the people teaching aren't going to be the ones telling you, oh yeah, no, Unity are being naughty. Some, sometimes. Depend, depends on your prof. Some, yeah, the, sometimes. It depends on the person teaching. Yes. <laughs> so, a couple of things about this. Uh, you know, it, it's just sketchy. I don't know what the end game here is. Uh, self emoliation possibly. But it does come down to a bigger topic that I was thinking about later this week after I've had a little bit of time to digest this. Because when you look at Unity, and if you're just looking at the Unreal Engine itself, I don't think either of those business models are sustainable. They're just, to me, they're not. Because, you know, I read a really good analogy that I'm going to, like, co-op. And if you just imagine, like, Adobe gave away their software uh, for free, you can have it. But if something that you created with Adobe, once it hits a certain threshold, and you've made enough money off of it, then we want some royalties. We'll let that kick in. I guess that, that doesn't, the, the, it's not really a fair equivalence because Ow. with Adobe, you're producing one piece of media, not exactly software. Well, you can sell to individual multiple times, you know? Hey, yes. hey, pay per view. At one point, that's which, gonna which leak, Adobe would and... love. <laughs> uh, yeah, Adobe, Adobe would love to charge you for every time you look at something made with. Photoshop. Absolutely, um, I'm sure if they, they could, they, they, they would absolutely they could. would. Oh, <laughs> There's actually a patent a long time ago uh, where they're trying to use the Connect to go and see if people were watching a TV and use mm -hmm. that to license the number of. Uh, I mean, it's a patent that doesn't necessarily use. Yeah, use that to license the number of views. Well, I mean, uh, to get back to the point here, so the reason. Right. This is, this is a dumb business model for a game engine. Like, just oh, give yeah. it away and, like, hope, you know, a couple of your big fishes. And this is really targeted to the big fishes, the people that are already paying the money to yeah. Unreal. Now, how does Epic get away with it? Pretty easy. They got all the money from Forkknife, Fall Guys, yeah. Psyonix, Bandcamp. They made some smart inv investments when you're like, when you initially, like, what are they doing buying these non? They're like, oh, revenue stream. They can afford it. What did yeah. Unity go? They, they went and bought Weta Digital. And they merged with an advertising mobile ad company, Iron Source. That's like that's what they've been up to the last two years. Uh, ma malware, malware distribution company, even because that Iron yes. Source shit was just indistinguishable, like straight up, right? Straight up um, adware. <laughs> then I did some. U Unity's never had a profitable quarter in their entire history. Uh, and their entire published like the from when they were doing their IPO mm -hmm. in the early days, they were profitable, but like that was, you know, and like. When, when, when you say sustainable, I, I wonder how much is like, they could actually have a profitable business, but it's not a year after year expen exponential growth type business. But they can and have that's, a profitable yes. business, but they can't spend, you know, $2.8 billion buying what a digital. No, no. Well, yeah, absolutely. But well, like that was, stock price, that, that was, that, that was, that, that was all after, uh, right. was, was that, was that before or after iron, they merged with iron mountain? That was right was before. before. That, yeah. Right before. Yes. Um, <laughs> but I mean, you know, to what's got saying, like, Unity's been lighting money on fire for market share, like getting the word out there, education, like whatever, which has never really been a bad thing. Uh, however, we, we're in this different mode now because after the IPO, because raising money is a completely different equation from making money. And that's where Unity needs to be right now. And I was like, didn't they have a game program? Weren't they, you know, going to make their own fork knife game that, you know, that constant little let's sell some hats and cosmetics? And yeah. Yeah, they did. Um, Gigia? Gigia? Giga, yeah. Giga, yeah, yeah. Nobody <laughs> wants to take a stab at that. And I don't blame you. Um, that was their in house uh, game. That project was just Snope last year. Reasons, like, whatever. Like, and it was not a mini, like, it was a full fledged, fleshed out 3D model, like, exploration world game. I'm like, oh, well. Then Unity, Scott, you, you might be keeping track of this. Apple's exclusive partner. For the Vision Pro, how do you yeah. think that's going to pan out? Um, I was actually uh, joking with some people before this about like, um, depending on how hard Unity's hit from that, I can see Apple just like eating them, just being Buying like, oh, like oh, 
See, but that, that would that would be a thing. That, that, would, that would be a great middle finger to Tim, right? Well, I guess other Tim. There's too many Tims involved in this situation now. There's, yeah. there's Apple Tim and there's Epic Tim. But if if, if Apple bought out Unity, Tim Shaver shows up. Oh. Go away, it's already confusing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean that, that that Tim's owned by Microsoft, so right. there's just like yeah. Tims all around. Too many Tims. Player three, uh, and like Apple would do it if they. I, I think they're going to be smart enough not to come after Apple because Apple will not buy them right now apple will sit back and wait a year or two oh no apple apple mm-hmm. is apple are sharks they won't <laughs> yeah they're like let's just wait until right around. before they fold you're like okay now we'll pick yeah. you up yeah um but i can see like that could be an end game but it's not one that shareholders will like is it be one to be forced into because apple wouldn't well one yeah. last thing before we get out of here uh is a a good reddit post that you know Kind of makes a lot of sense because we, we we can all agree that the CEO of uh, Unity is a scumbag, right? Yes, uh, yeah. but he's he not was the, only the CEO scumbag. of Electronic Arts for many many years. Scumbag. I wonder where he's uh, yeah, the, learned listen, listen, his skills. The, 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 there there are no shortage of scumbags, and we got a couple more. Uh, yes, about. I mean you know to be like right here on the top of this because uh, uh, Zidget is the Reddit post, and this comes from our Unity, and I read this and like this is a good way to think about it. You know, he's undoubtedly an asshole. They don't let you be a CEO unless you are one. But very few exceptions. Uh, but he has been the CEO of Unity since 2014. He oversaw the progress from that engine that lets you port games to anything to the platform that every single mobile game is the backbone. You know, like it, it, he's been around to like get Unity as hyped as it is. Now, what changed in 2020 when Unity went public? A bunch of shitheads bought their way into Unity's board of directors. The CEO works for the board. So here's some names, uh, Tomo, Real Oaf, whatever, uh, and Iron Source people and uh, board members, new shareholders, uh, and they're calling the shots now. He, he's like a CEO. Like, you wonder why this dude, this dude was selling off his stock because he's like, these idiots are going to fuck everything up. Yeah, I, I, I will, I will I do mean, what you say, uh, and I'm going to take my golden the... parachute. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, d- d- selling the stocks uh, ahead uh knowing full well what was coming that used to be illegal or at least frowned upon so i guess he hasn't learned why he got kicked off of ea no he's he's got millions (laughs) upon millions of dollars to land on yeah yeah he's like (laughs) but i mean this this was a good good thing to read through of like even when the rat that guy the ceo's like i'm gonna get the fuck out of here man like that's Mm -hmm. pay attention to that right Indeed. Actually, uh, one thing we used to do with a peace perspective is when we want to see what's happening, uh, we look for uh, when people took long periods of vacation out of nowhere, because that's probably they're burning off their time off before they're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there is a, it's actually a tactic that journalists sometimes use. <laughs> so before we get out of here, uh, again, thank you for your time, Scott. Do you, what do you think the future of Unity is going to be if they just, they don't roll anything back and they're like, no, we're going to stick with this. This is the way it is. How much damage is this going to do? Because Jordan's brought it up, the trust issue. Like, especially when, even if you roll back something like this, you know that they're capable of wanting to do it, right? They're they're, they're going to try again, just in a different way right. that's less obvious. They're, they're yeah, going to have a puppet. It. Like, give us your money for games. That's it's how they're going to do it. It's going to be weird as fuck. <laughs> It'll be like a weird way of digital kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be horrifying. <laughs> Yeah, our, our new CEO, Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> Precious. Oh, man. Yeah. So what do you think is going to be the future of Unity? Uh, this time next uh, year, uh, 300 plus days from now, where, where's Unity at? So the practical thing is I can see them still having, I mean, bleeding off a bunch of customers, but still having a hardcore data, uh, base of, uh, I say database, base of uh, core developers that are just going to stick with them regardless, even if it's kind of stupid. Well, again, for the smaller developers, like, yeah, or yeah mo- for the mo- new mo- people trying it, I don't think that's going to make much of a difference or, uh, because, oh, hey, that's mo- an gamers. easy engine. Mo- mo- yeah. Mobile gamers, right? Like the, the, mo- like the, these are a lot of mobile games are already like really low effort. They're not going to, they're not going to take the effort to go and move to another engine. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna like figure out a way to like increase their own monetization so that when when Apple or whatever takes or Unity takes their cut, 
they 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 don't hurt as much. That, that's the monetization it, right? issue, because uh, one of the things that Unity is doing is they're offering a you don't pay the install fees if you uh, adhere to our own in-house monetization ad mm -hmm. platform instead of using which, the uh, yeah. the external one. Yes, which I mean I'm not sure if they're going to be legally allowed to do that, but they've been. Saying that apparently they've been. It, it's it's still it's still sketchy it. as hell. It, this this, the, this the, is Oracle. They've been promising it to people. So the, the, this is this yeah. is Oracle. Sign up for Oracle Cloud so you can run our databases, <laughs> or we're gonna start auditing you guys mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, it'd be a shame, you know. It'd, yeah, it'd be. Yeah. A, oh, is that database running on three CPUs nice instead of two? You've got that's, going that's on there. Oh, it would be a shame if someone bracketed <laughs> it. <laughs> Pull another rack, stab it a little bit there. There we yeah, go. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, <laughs> No, it's the bit from The Simpsons where, where Bill Gates buys out Homer's company. Buy him out, boys. Oh. It's the, the baseball bat smashing his shit. All right. Coming up next, Pedro's going to tell us about 20 years of steam because we're getting old. Green olive shits. 20 years. <laughs> Admittedly, I haven't been on Steam for 20 years. I think I, uh, I only... Uh, 20... I haven't two, been alive uh, for 20 2005? <laughs> Yeah, so it's been just a little under 20 years, but yeah, they've been around for a while. And to celebrate it, they've decided, let's do a sale. Let's have a sale um, and ah, go Tuesday? down the line. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the go down the line to show um, what they've done uh, for each year and what meme was relevant for that year. And they did a very good job. They uh, got a bunch of Valve characters. Yes, we're all old. <laughs> got a bunch of Valve characters to do the meme faces, all like right, the MySpace on. face. Yeah, okay, MySpace. <laughs> yeah, Tom, Tom from MySpace. Hmm. That's just Gordon. Th th that's uh, Aragorn. Sora. Right, yeah, that's right. Aragorn. Yeah, 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 it took a minute. Yeah, took a minute. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> sales, sales. Oh, yeah, the kid, uh, girl. Uh, <laughs> the fire girl. The fire girl. Yeah, all right. Day of defeat. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we got... Hmm... How would I don't I know? I, I I don't know. I don't know what that one is. They yeah. mentioned the uh, that uh, 2006 was the year that Pluto uh, was demoted from being a regular planet to a dwarf planet. Dwarf planet, yeah. <laughs> but nobody tells us a dwarf planet. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I, I I very much appreciate uh, a lot of what Valve has done, especially the Linuxy bits and the Steam Deck. They. I yes, I, I I agree with a lot of what they've done, and I look forward to the non VR things that they have lined up in the future. I, I, I still don't like yeah, it. yeah, we got Rick, Rick, Rick Astley and keyboard cat. <laughs> I want a keyboard crab. Um, the keyboard keyboard crab. Uh, <laughs> the Twilight like, tw books. Tw Twilight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would not have gotten that, but I want a boat. Oh, wait, so that's just yeah, the I'm on yeah, a boat. I'm, I'm on a boat. Yeah. Because you had to get on the boat for Left 4 Dead 2. I don't Lady know. Gaga's meat dress. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, All right. Yeah, make, All right. Makes All right. sense. Right. Makes okay. sense. Let's see. You put that on a witch. Oh, yeah. Neon, 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 Neon Wheatley. <laughs> Neon Wheatley. All right. All right. 2011. Uh, oh, Gangnam yeah, Style. Gang yeah. Gangnam Opa. Style. <laughs> It's so weird seeing the Counter Strike terrorists. Frozen, this, Frozen, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah frozen, and it's a Dota character. Yeah, yeah she's she's the ice character oh, from the press. Uh, out. Okay, the, yeah, all right. She, yeah, she's the ice character from Dota. No. <laughs> Call <Yeah>. of Duty. <laughs> the dress. The dress. Yeah, I, the, the dress. Trainer posted that one earlier. I, I like it. Oh, that's so, that, that one was so good. <sighs> Uh, oh, uh, Ar Ar Arthur, Arthur with the fucking VR. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're into 2016 now. We're 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 getting recent. Oh, yeah. No, okay. Cape, yeah. Cape, yeah. Cape, Cape, Cape Johnson with the lemons. Yeah, that that got yeah, me. Distracted boyfriend. Very good. Very good. That that, that <laughs> one got a good chuckle out of me. Uh, this is this is um this is the first words that Chell has ever said canonically. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Chell has never spoken up to this point, and she wants Wheatley to play Despacito. Okay. Oh, okay. Solid cat. Yeah, the, yeah, the, solid, the, solid the lady cat. and the cat with Dota characters, yes. <laughs> was that was that 2019? Oh my god. 2020. So, okay, 
I take exception to that. That should be Gordon Freeman because it was the actor who played the Flash in front of the Flash's graveyard. It shouldn't be G-Man. <laughs> oh. it, should, it should be Gordon Freeman in a suit going, yeah. 2021? I don't, I don't know what this one is. Oh, no. Are we no yeah. longer with it? <laughs> oh, no. no. Apparently not. 2021's too recent. <laughs> The children <laughs> save us. Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. Well. Yeah. We got. We got the. We got the sexy costumes in 2022. All okay. right. Yeah. Sexy Steam Deck, steamy um, handheld gaming computer, and Barbie and Ken. Yep. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's 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 the Barbie mug shots with Counter Strike uh, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> some 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 of those were pretty good. It was a fun little romp down memory lane. Uh, they actually mentioned Artifact and Steam Machines. You know, good for them if. I, I was doing a retrospective. Maybe I would be tempted to do a bit of a revisionist history, but they they, they showed their stuff warts and all, uh, like sand through the hourglass. So go the unplayed games. No, in I our Steam to libraries. think about it, and it was really easy for me to figure out when was the first time I opened Steam. Because I remember it was when they announced that Portal was free, and I'm like, when was Portal free? Google, it was May twenty fourth, twenty ten. I was like, ah, right, that was the first time I installed Steam with Wine. Uh, and I was like, ah, I got my portal thing closed. It never went back until little did I know a game was going to come out in 2011 called Skyrim. <laughs> and I wanted to make an installation video for it. So I went out of the way to make sure that I bought it on DVD because I didn't want to <laughs> fight with steam. I was like, okay, this guide's going to be way easier if I don't the first can update to Skyrim tied it to steam. I still remember that. Not gonna well, yeah. That and, now, now nowadays like the boxes just come with a download code you don't yeah, even right? get a disc mm -hmm. dude uh yeah in the year after that so in uh, 2012 was when we got our first beta for steam on linux and here we yeah. are kids november 2012 <laughs> that i had to send an email to valve saying please don't ban me i just got this working and i need to get a package going for for don't who please don't ban me and five minutes later i had an email saying you've been invited to the beta oh thank you god <laughs> And then, and then five minutes later from now, you get an email that says, hey, remember that thing that you did back in 2012? Well, that was illegal. We're terminating your Steam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Valve time. LOL, JK. <laughs> but I, 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 am, I am of an age, though, or I, 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 my Steam account is of an age, I should say, where uh, I when, when I first installed it, it looked a little something like what we're going to talk about next. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it, it was still very green <laughs> oh, something yeah. like this i completely missed out on these days i know i have no there nostalgia was, for the it, green it, 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 was, it, it was just the left side there was no any there wasn't like any sort of like grid mm -hmm. it was just the list of games well okay it, it was just if you go into view and put small mode it was that but green ah uh, yep <laughs> if you want to relive the uh greenness that was 2004 you can kinda i mean it still mostly works and uh you gotta get some, get, go through some hoops because uh, I started reading about like because uh, I remember installing a theme with the uh, SFP, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which you can get to work on Linux, but it, it was too much of a pain in the ass for me to try it out just for the funsies. And the latest update is broken all the pop up windows because they did a complete redesign. They don't know if they're going to update it, but I thought this would just be fun as a quick little ah. Why it would takes you ever me want back. to do that? Yeah, I, I I have I have a powerful sense memory of seeing an interface that looks like this on a CR Th on like a thing. fourteen inch CRT monitor in my parents' basement, and now I live in an adult basement. So go check out our <laughs> show notes, OG Steam Library. It's there if you need that in your life. You know what? If you can simplify it, good way to prank your friends, right? Yeah, yeah. but I I it doesn't bring good memories to me because. I, no one I knew actually liked Steam back when it was green. It was the shit client that made so that games ran worse. Uh, and it and kept it updating and it broke your every bots. time. It yeah, broke your uh, mods. Yeah, that was... it kept updating every time you wanted to start a game and you had to wait for like five minutes for it to fucking update. Uh, and it would crash for no reason, taking the game down with it. So in the age of single core and dual core processors back in 2004 when I started using it, um, no, Steam was shit. I hated Steam. I, I can't get the roast into oh, glasses for that a particular lot of people shade of about green. This and we brought it up multiple times on this show. You know, when we see like the Epic launcher and the GOG launcher, like, why are they so bad? Steam was not that good for a long time. We, we, yeah, yep. They they've been learned. doing R&D on it. They've been working on it for 20 years to get into the state it is right now. And where's that at right now? You're like, it's all right. Well, it's it's, it's know, serviceable. Epic, Epic has, a, <laughs> has a shopping cart now. So, you they know, small do. Games. So Jordan, um, 
I got to admit, I just tried to move these sliders around on the screen. Didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that'll that happen sometimes. Yep. But yeah, uh, SteamOS 3.5 preview is out and available. Not unlike Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. It ruins everything and makes you rebuy all the books you own. Now, um, this, uh, this comes with some uh, improved visual support. Uh, you can now have... Um, VR and HDR and external displays. Um, there's uh, there, you can there's uh, separation between stretch and zoom scaling, as well as uh, ways to handle different aspect ratios. Storage will now auto mount in SteamOS, which is nice. You don't have to like go through the UI to format the disk anymore. If you pop it in, it shows up as a drive. Um, someone ran a Pac-Man dash SYU on the Arch Linux install, so now it's all nice and up to date. With the latest KDE. Plasma stuff that lets you do system updates from desktop mode now, which is pretty nice. That's always good. Yes, that's very good. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is a new major version. So if you're opting into this, all of your root FS modifications will be gone because it will just load in the new atomic image. And um, yeah, Can you imagine being all that will be. knowing that that's going to be the case. Oh my God damn, here they come. Here they come. Here come the emails. Here they come. <laughs> So yeah, if you made changes, now's the time to go back and look through them before you opt in. But yeah, uh, to answer Ven's question in the um, the show notes, yes, Linux does have HDR. Ever since uh, October last year, that was the earliest mention I could find of it in the GameScope uh, GitHub repo. Well, I followed and Josh on Mastodon and he was posting last week. He's like, I kind of, sort of have it a little bit working ish with this one game so that's why i was curious yeah uh th- that one game ha- it has its own issues but there's a few other games that it already works but you need to be running game scope so if you have any other compositor going you need to run your game inside game scope in order to be able to use hdr and if you want the the monitor to say oh that's all hdr so you have to be running it in full screen in that monitor so it, it works very well in the Steam Deck. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what you want with your seven inch display, right? HDR. <laughs> Darkness. That's the, uh, that's the thing. And with the new tweaked color profiles and um, everything else that. And Valve, it would look a lot sweeter if that display was OLED, wouldn't it? That that would be a lot better if it was the a upgrades that 1080p I would like. screen. Just drain the battery even faster. No. Uh, 720p, actual 720p proper uh oled and okay if you want to do like high refresh rate up to 75 hertz would be fine but 60 is okay so uh, one other thing that comes with this update is apparently they've improved uh, bluetooth stability i have not tangoed with bluetooth on my steam deck because as as mentioned it has a very limited battery life and i don't want anything else to to bleed off that right Uh, he's like that's a radio that costs yeah, that costs mm-hmm. precious power that I don't have. have. Have you have you messed around with any of that stuff at all? And Bluetooth headphones, controllers, I, that kind of stuff. Yeah, the, the headphones. I I paired the uh, the blue Sony uh, Bluetooth headset that I have for just having the Steam Deck while I'm walking around. Yeah, I I, I have uh, I have a pair of wired headphones because. <laughs> yeah, that 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 works too. <laughs> hey man, voltage don't grow on trees. Yeah, it doesn't. Someone oh. was a big. F- oh, yeah, we got we got new new games to talk about. Someone was new a big games. fan of uh, House House's lack of a naming convention. This is Untitled Ghost Game, a free <laughs> multiplayer co-op game where you hunt ghosts uh, made by some fine uh, Indian dudes with a chicken and some cows. I'm pretty sure the cows are the QA team. Um, are they yeah, the ones uh, who made it or did they just pay them to do the video? <laughs> I, d- I don't know. I think their lead engineer was the chicken. At least I hope so. But anyways, um, it has it has online multiplayer, which is like a shock, especially for a free game. Those are uh, those are few and far between. Uh, but yeah, you go around in your hipster, hipster pixel game and you hunt ghosts with your friends uh, using a variety of tools. And yeah, it seems like something that could be decent after show bait. Um, like maybe possibly, maybe possibly. possibly. I mean, it is priced to sell. I mean, it is free. I went through this and I looked at it. I don't know if I downloaded it or not, but uh, oh, yeah, it does Ouija seem like board. hide and seek with ghost, right? <laughs> and like, the thing is, is like, once you, once you find the ghost, you don't get to murder rated. You got to call in the exorcist. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Then like ghost snapper shows up. Yeah. You just have to identify what kind of haunting it is. There, there was another game. I can't remember the name of it now. 
that uh, you basically it was that, asymmetric like this. Possibly, yes. Yes, it's a haunted it's phasmophobia. Bed. Yes. <laughs> what if you have haunted socks? And yeah, you find out. My, okay, my so the ghost is doing this, and it's doing this. So it's probably this particular um, haunting, and then you just call a vote or whatever. It's like no, it's this one. And if you got it right, you get bonus. If not, you get nothing. <laughs> I, I I just prefer calling Ernie Hudson to deal with my ghosts. I think that's that's the way to do it. <laughs> Well, I mean, um, I read across this the other day. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I can enlarge in that. <laughs> zoom in enhance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom, just, zoom just, in just your regular uh, side of the road case yeah. with the doll in it. And I was yep. thinking to myself, if I take this home and it's not haunted, I'm going to be mad. Right, yeah. If, if, if I'm I take this home, it back. <laughs> if I take this home and I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna be so upset. Just a little bit cross, right? Like that. Yeah, better be. that, like that, where's the elf blood? Should, yeah, that, that that should have fucking come to life and plunged the knife through my chest. Man, like, come on. Yeah, um, <laughs> only slightly haunted. Gently, gently used haunted doll. Seventy percent haunted. <laughs> yeah, discount haunted <laughs> merchandise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. We we only hire the laziest ghosts. <laughs> It's technically haunted, but I, I don't think you'll ever be That's able to That's what you tell. get when you let him form the ghost union, Jordan. What did you expect? Yeah, yeah you let the ghosts unionize, and then all of a sudden they want lunch breaks. What are they going to eat? They're dead. Makes no sense. Um, oh, Starfield, right? That's a video game. Yes. People are still playing it. And, you know, it's mixed, man. You either like, like Starfield. There's a third option. You dislike it. The third option is like... What's a Starfield? Well, okay, four or four options. There's that one. Uh, that fourth option is not a very common one. <laughs> Everyone knows Starfield. You know it exists. <laughs> and then there's people I think just hate playing it right now, and they're like, it's going to get better eventually. Um, but make of it what you will. I mean, it's sandboxy, shooty, pew. It's got a bunch of elements. You know, it's like uh, people said it's not Skyrim in space, it's Fallout in space, which I'm like, why is it? It is very much both of those things at once. Yes. But the one thing I, we I can mean, all agree what, on. What is Fallout but Skyrim with guns? Let's be real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing we can all agree on is it's not optimized for PC. No, no, no it's not. It's not. Even after uh, Todd Howard, when it's like, after, it is yeah. optimized, you're yeah. just going to have to update. Correct, Pedro. Once he said, <laughs> yes, I will optimize it. Watch. I said words. Yeah. Now it's optimized. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this is another one of these situations where it looks like soft engine programmers don't really understand how DirectX 12 works. We've seen this with, uh, with Elden Ring. I'd say mm -hmm. it wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't DirectX 12. It was DirectX 12 and resizable bar. But this is this is this is similar. This is uh, bad usage of the uh, Direct ID 3D 12 graphics command list colon execute indirect method and its uh, improper use uh, therein. So Hans Christian Anderson, not Hans Christian Anderson, the guy who wrote <laughs> the Little Mermaid, the guy who writes VKD 3D Proton, he's got some fixes for it. He does, man, because he walked out. He's like, you know, it might not end up ever getting optimized for PC, but it sure as fuck's going to be optimized for Linux. And here's a PR for VKD3D dash Proton. You know what you love it. And you probably played around with it. And one of the big issues, well, a couple of them. Apparently, Starfield allocates memory incorrectly. It abuses um, execute indirect, creates multiple execute indirect calls instead of batching them. And yeah, I might have guessed. That slows things down just a little bit. So, Especially when they return nothing. So it's it's literally stalling yeah. the game for mm -hmm. a null value. I mean, we're not talking about like the, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, uh, GTA 5 performance, <laughs> dude. But I mean, it's good to see work's being done on this. And mm -hmm. this, is, this is where the type of work takes place, right? And to what Jordan's saying, somebody didn't know how to DX12, bro. Or it, you can't really say they rushed it out the door either now, can we? No, they, they delayed no. that shit. <laughs> yeah, no, Microsoft looked at it the first time. It's like, you're not going to release that when we own you. Just, you're not. Sorry. <laughs> and th this this is one of the nice things about having open source driver space. I, I, I honestly kind of hate it when we I see patches like this because it means that the game devs aren't really doing their job. But, you know, with the open source driver space, we can actually, like, identify and fix these issues because we can see how the driver is running. We can see what it's doing, and then we can submit a patch to correct the behavior. So and you mentioned Elden Ring. Uh, Elden Ring, when it first came out, it ran more consistently on Linux and the Steam Deck because the Steam Deck officially came out on the exact same day um, than it 
did on Windows because on Windows it was stuttery and um, yeah, because it, it wildly didn't inconsistent. It didn't implement uh, resizable bar properly, which again yep. they. They, they intercept the call in the driver and they do the right thing and then and then it works all of a sudden surprise i think it's a big shock because we're all in our um, little pc gaming bubble whether or not you realize it um we're rounding error to console gaming mm-hmm. we are i mean i've seen that asked online I'm like why are these companies spending more time we, 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 polishing we their pc we don't buy ports. those games at full price we wait till they go on sale, no. right? yeah and we have we're, refunds mm-hmm. yeah so yeah, and, the, uh, you don't like the uh, seventy dollar price tag? You wait a year. Uh huh. <laughs> you wait for half off. You wait for eighty percent off. <laughs> wait, you, you wait. You wait for that humble bundle, baby. <laughs> oh no! Do you know? Okay, speaking of like great sales, uh, Green Man Gaming had uh, the Avengers. For, so I want to call it something other than the Avengers. It's like the B movie. Mo- mo- yeah. Their stunt, it looks like they're right. stunt doubles. The Avengers from space starring their stunt doubles. Um, yeah, from uh, Spaceballs. Yeah, hundred percent. And they had the ultimate YOLO Turbo Definitive Edition for four bucks. Now that yeah, one everyone hated that game. <laughs> wasn't enough for me to pick it up until I was like, oh, and it's getting delisted from Steam at the end of the month. I'm like, fuck, I spent four bucks. All right, let's. <laughs> I'm going to add it to my collection of delisted games, and uh, I was like, well, I got it. I might as well install it, see what it is. I went, I went through like the tutorial thing, and it showed me how to play Iron Man. I'm like, it's a little clunky, but maybe we could get into this somehow. I go to my first mission and it starts me off as Black Panther. I'm like, then why did you just spend fucking 20 minutes teaching me how to play Iron Man or the control? Oh shit, the controls are exact same. Never mind. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Uh, so yeah, that's my review of that. Uh, <laughs> slightly off topic. Starfield. I, I'm not going to end up playing it. Jordan's not going to end up playing it. Pedro will end up playing it when either somebody oh. buys it for him or it's oh, on I'll like end up 90% playing it. I've already been offered it by two different people and I've rejected them both times. I'd love to, but I don't have time right now. Thank uh, you. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you. the modders to take a crack at it. <laughs> like every Bethesda game gets better once the community identifies all the shit in the game that didn't work and then just makes a mod that takes it out of the game so you can skip it. Like lockpicking yeah. in Skyrim. <laughs> that was the best part of Skyrim. Lockpick against Skyrim wasn't even the worst. Like the entire magic system and the mage quests for the College of Winterhold, those were shit. Those yeah, I didn't were do, didn't do any of those. Not the worst. Th- one of the worst bits of Skyrim. It's a shit. <laughs> I played enough Skyrim until I wasn't scared of the dragons anymore. What once that wore off? <laughs> I I want the mod that turns all the spaceships in Starfield into Macho Man Randy Savage. Well, I mean, you know somebody's going to create a uh, Skyrim planet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Absolutely. it's going to be full of Macho Man Randy Savage dragons. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to load the entire map of Skyrim on a planet, and you just drop no, no, that, and away no, you no, go. No, no, You cruise up to the planet, and the planet is just a Macho Man Randy Savage's head with the hat on. <laughs> starts chasing your ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Starts launching Slim Jims off from the surface. You gotta dodge him. Oh man, intercontinental ballistic slim gems. That's uh, too long for a show title. Don't waste your time. Here's a little bit of a blast from the past. Pedro, did you put this in the show notes? I did. I saw the little notification show up on the top of my Steam news. I was like, oh, wait, no, that came out today. Oh. Speaking okay. of like things from 20 years ago or like from the early <laughs> days of Steam on Linux, a game we've all played Distance, uh, survived the distance. It was a contender. It's definitely an honorable mention in early access. Per- uh, perpetuity it finally, the soundtrack gets a lot of play on our live streams it used mm-hmm. to yeah um yeah. the and it finally came out and it came out in a state of like let's just slap a 1.0 on it and push it out the door which was really fucking disappointing considering how good the game was never get a lot of traction you know but there's an update looking for some community levels yeah they are well the, the developer who's um still working on it i'm like okay that's pretty cool there's an announcement it's going to be coming out. It's getting ported to retro consoles. And by that, I mean, it's going to PS4 port. Pretty nice. There's been some fixes for the letterboards for the cloud storage because it was filling up people's cloud storage. So that's been sorted. And there, like I said, there's been a call to the community for levels. I was like, how many people are still playing this game now? No one looked it up. More than I thought. There's, <laughs> the average is about 20 if you, if you squint a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I, closer I, to I, 15. I, I, I wonder what those leaderboards are like. Is it just like people just competing over fractions the, of seconds it, at this point? It's that 20 people, right? 
Yeah, it's it's no, turned into... it's the cheaters. Then it's those twenty people. Ah, Pedro Mateus <laughs> would know. Be, being one no, of no, the no, no. I mean the cheaters. cheaters, the ones that finished all the tracks in less than a second, because they just teleported themselves to the end. Now the thing that killed this game, um, whether or not you agree with me, okay, that's fine. Uh, is that they never went back and created racing tracks because I think Pedro, am I correct? Every map has a like ginormous skip through it, right? Most of them do. Yeah. You just have to find out where it is. Some of them are very well telegraphed. Mm -hmm. That's why I learned them <laughs> because I didn't go looking for them. It's like, Oh, that looks like that bit of the track. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> right. And you know, for people that wanted to get in and, uh, and it does have a level editor, uh, just wanted to get in and mm -hmm. do some racing. I was like, we don't, we don't fucking have to want to go hunt around and like research where the skips are. We just want to fucking race. And there were enough people with that similar mindset that it just never Gained any traction is twenty four ninety nine, and this game came out in twenty eighteen. That's almost this was an early access for a while. Too. Oh, it was. Uh, I paid uh, the Linux version's a bit buggy. One hundred and twenty dollars <laughs> for mine and paid your copy. Back, back, back on the Kickstarter. Yeah. Back on the Kickstarter. I'm like, just got it, and like controllers didn't work back in the days, man. I mean, it, it, it was a different time, kids. So, uh, yeah, it's it's still around. It's coming to PS4 and PS5. NPS5. Yeah, NPS5. It's like, I saw the PS4 release, it's like, are you genuinely just doing the PS4? And then I actually clicked on the uh, the blog post, it's ah, okay, PS5 at the same time, right. I know that I, Sony I, I fired up the, I would have gotten more excited <laughs> if it was like, we're, we're doing this for the Wii U. I'm like, but, fuck yes, alright. But, uh, but, so, like, here, okay, here, I know that Sony fired up the, uh, the PS4 printers during, you know, the Rona, because of the shortage, but damn <laughs> Speak, <What's> speaking <laughs> speaking of unity games this is a unity game by the way yes so up, updating to the latest version so i hope it doesn't sell too well on ps5 otherwise our buddy's gonna be in a it's gonna be owing some money and it's also an old unity game which means you play it with proton yes oh yeah, yeah. no the, the 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 linux version is buggy there's entire tracks that they just crash yeah so. the, 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 this was like og unity scream of nope era right like oh yeah but Jordan, I don't, I don't think, uh, Pedro, did you ever play um, the Beovania game, Bloodstained? Uh, no. Oh, I tried to get into that earlier this week. Yeah, I, I saw. I saw you were posting. You you were dealing with like the puppy boss. Yeah, well, there were regular characters. Yeah, just uh, like little uh, puppies with bows in their hair, but they're on a chain link. They try to eat you. Um, it's very campy, very silly by one of the creators of a uh, like Castlevania series, or the creator, I guess I, you should say. But when you said bug, man, because I got pretty good. I'm at, I'm at, I was at the last boss, and the, here's the strat to beat a boss in that game. You go all the way to the beginning of the map where the one shop is where you can buy the health potions. You buy every single health potion there is. All of them, the big, little, small, sideways ones. Then you go all the way back to the boss. Then you take that motherfucker and take him out. This is the, 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 the near automata strategy of, <laughs> ah, 999 potions. We're doing it. Uh, and the 100% success rate on this. Except when I got back to the boss and I spent all my money and it was a ton of money because a lot of grinding in between these sections, uh, even with fast travel, I, I, I'm down. I'm like, okay, got to start using the potions. None of them were in my inventory. Ooh, the money was gone too. The money was gone too, man. Oh was, no. Like I even went all the way back and I'm like, if is this something going to unglitch here? And like, nope. Oh, it, that's rough. I guess that's, that's not rough. deliberate. It's not like, no, this is the last boss. You don't get to use potions. Well, it turns out it's not even really the last boss. If I had beaten them, that would have been the bad ending. You see, you uh, don't do that. You do another six <laughs> hours of convoluted bullshit, a little thing I like to call. It's uh, a Metroidvania, yes. Well, uh, well, the, <laughs> Castlevania was like one of the OG games that pioneered that, right? Like, yes. But we're talking about like, oh, no. You see, here's where you got to cut the moon in half in the background with a sword. Ah. Mm -hmm. You, or you in just gotta, you just gotta, if you want time. to get the the good ending, you have to figure out that yes, you can destroy the guild statues, but if you have a what starts out as a bead, a clear bead, and you die four times with that bead equipped, mm -hmm. it gets full of guilt. And then after you destroy the statue, a portal appears where the statue is, and you need to destroy all seven statues and beat the gauntlets in all seven portals. They get the good ending. That's why I never played Mario. So 
Yeah, and <laughs> fr fr from the guy who brought you Castlevania to Simon's Quest. Yeah, just kneel in the corner here, and a hurricane will take you to the place where you need to go. Clearly, is there any KG Nafuna? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I watched um, what was it, Maximilian dude play through uh, the first time through the original Zelda, and there's some parts in original Zelda. I'm like, you get wrecked, man. With the, um, yeah, if, if you have no idea what the hell you're doing, if you're going like, in cold, like, you're yeah. never gonna figure that out. It's like, like, what did you do back in the day? I'll tell you. You started playing another game at some point. Um, yeah. Yeah, my, my, my video game rental at Blockbuster expired, so I picked a different one. Mm -hmm. All right, back on track. VKD 3D Proton, just talking about it. Uh, we got, we got yeah, the, 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 the news. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's the news. It's the uh, second bit of uh, VKD 3D. This one is the roll-up of version 2.10, which includes the Starfield uh, performance issues fixed and the Ratchet & Clank also, uh, the performance issues that it had have also been addressed. I kind of want to play There's, that. Yeah, so do I. The, uh, it's one of those uh, mascot games that were very, very popular in the very, very popular in the PlayStation days. Uh, I, I, I just like the old ratchet. Like I played the old Ratchet and Clank games. The weapons are just fun because they're goofy. Yeah, fire, <laughs> fire a thing at something that turns them into chickens, and then you can take the chickens and throw them at other enemies. It's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, they've also uh, made a not entirely Vulcan compliant implementation of uh, Shader Model 6.7. Uh, it's opt in for now because it's not entirely compliant, but it works, at least from their testing uh, on AMD and NVIDIA. No word on the Intel Arc. I guess even the uh, VKD 3D folks have uh, Intel cards yet. Uh, the uh, There was a, an Armored Core 6 bug that basically drove an entire rewrite of the descriptor set layouts in VKD 3D. And here, I'd been hearing that, oh yeah, no, uh, Armor, um, Armored Core 6 is the best From Software game on PC ever. There's I mean, still a niggling issue. I, yeah, that, 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 that's not a very high bar. To, <laughs> I'm just saying that sounds. That no, sounds no, dude, no, what, no, what you're saying? That was like the Dark Souls of rewrites. That wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Effectively. <laughs> Uh, one, one other thing that comes in here is uh, direct storage is now implemented through VKD3D Proton, so you can get that GPU decompression. We have it at home. Also, if you're playing Halo Infinite, no rebar for you. It causes CPU performance to eat poo. Sorry, boys. I have that enabled. <laughs> I, I, also, I also have rebar enabled now, now that yeah, I could reinstall this my operating just, system. Even if you have it enabled, it just doesn't use the uh, the shared memory. No. <laughs> Indeed. I don't know fuck all what it does, but I got it enabled. So. Yeah, it, it, it's good to have it enabled nowadays because uh, I don't know if Nvidia is making active use of it, but I know both AMD and Intel require it effectively. Mm. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> the Intel GPUs like straight up require uh, yeah. rebuild. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want them to work, it, <laughs> yeah. No, well, I mean, I don't buy my Intel GPUs to ex and expect them to work, man. I, I buy them to look at them. <laughs> Listen, you buy an Intel GPU as a project. That's a hobby, man. Yeah. You know, five years ago, we called those AMD cards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, up Mango next, Huts? we got okay, Mango HUD. Yeah. Uh, the new Mango HUD version is out. Not 0.7 RC1. That's the uh, least AMD, it. Team Red. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, you can get uh, the things. GPU fan uh, stats uh, only on AMD. A lot of the stuff is only on AMD because the fine folks at Valve have been making changes for this to better support the Steam Deck. And so all of the uh, all, all the cool new stuff gets added, mostly for AMD only. Um, uh, I'm already taking um, a little bit of an issue here because we have an option to modify the text outline thickness. We have the option for that. Where's the one to do the um, text outline girth? Mm, the width, yeah. I, I, I want, I want that bold, 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 flavorful text. Um, and uh, the, the 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 other thing is now they have an explicit blacklist, so no more running Mango HUD on Internet Explorer for you fucking sickos. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, no. Uh, the, the, yeah, if you ever wanted all of the options that the Steam Deck um gives you when you're playing with the different presets. This is the update. This is the one you've been looking for. Just download it and you should have the exact same presets. In fact, they're numbered the exact same one. Uh, and if you don't like the presets exactly, you can make changes and use your own options because, hey, you're running Mango HUD on the desktop, so you can. <laughs> mm. 
That's pretty neat. I mean, well, checkbox, desktop client, please. <laughs> that no. would be nice. Yeah. No? It's, <laughs> instead of the little FURPS counter, just Mango HUD. Yeah, I mean, I, if I'm launching a game for the first time, there's a Mango HUD command. And uh, I, I think that uh, merits enough usage to just go ahead and include it. I mean, well, I, 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 I would like to see uh, what they do, them add to the desktop client what they have in the Steam Deck client, which is you can just enable it through the overlay. So it's not even you have to go out of the game. You can mm -hmm. just be like, turn on. And if it's HUD, a tick box, like yeah. Ben was saying, like in the options, you could just open the settings in game and go whoop done yeah it's, it, it's just a slider you hit the the, yep. the steam button and like in the uh, and in, like the seriously all the uh, yeah, like no, in the, the api no, no, no. shit the hide and all, all that shit should be under advanced and click like a, so you don't have to go to proton db i'm like all right what cliffs do i need to make this because i mm -hmm. ran into that when i was trying to play the avengers i was like why aren't you picking up dlss oh and oh then i had to find another thing because apparently there's some random moon package for mm. NVIDIA that you have to have installed for it to work. I'm like, what? I, like, I even made a doc for that. I'm like, I'll never remember that. So <laughs> good work. Mango HUD's a great piece of software. So is Gamescope. Yes. And Gamescope unless, is. Unless you're a it, YouTube commenter. Yeah, yeah, except for that one guy on YouTube. He, <laughs> no, no. Uh, he really doesn't like it. Uh, 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 that was, his issue was with that NVIDIA specifically. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he was one of Pedro, Team Reds. Uh, <laughs> That's the thing. He's one of I, your peeps. Look, I have my 6700 XE, but before that, I had the GTX 1080, and I very much enjoyed that GTX 1080 Thanks, right up MP. until it couldn't run DX12 properly anymore. So, uh, yeah, the uh, game scope is effectively the best way if you want to get games that like to fuck around with your monitor configurations to get them to behave properly. And on top of everything that already does, your FSRs, your HDRs, everything else, now it has support for reshade. Yes. If you uh, have your own collection of shaders and other graphical customizations that you've added to every single game on the Windows side, well, now you can probably get to it on the Linux side. Um, you could prob uh, previously already use some of the reshade options in vk basalt it had a tab specifically for that but the devs for vk basalt seem to be winding down development uh they're they're saying that they're not adding any new features uh so that 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 seems to be the death knell uh gamescope is very much looking to become the default uh or at least the go-to Wayland compositor, and with reshade support on top of everything else, I'd say yes, please. Again, I'm kind of curious of someone who gets a game scope session on KDE or GNOME and then just starts applying reshades on the desktop. I kind of want to see those screenshots. I do. <laughs> yeah, uh, doing doing this though can introduce quite a bit of latency, so uh, you want to be a little bit sparing if you're going to be doing like full-on transforms. Apparently. Apparently, according to uh, the author of this readme, AMD GPU just has the ability to do this uh, within the display core, uh, so you don't necessarily need to use something like uh, Reshade uh, to get these effects in place. There's there's a native driver solution, but I don't know if something like that exists similarly on Nvidia on the Nvidia side. That's uh, well, yeah, definitely so. one of the things. So, if you were like me, like I I knew the word Reshade and I know it did a thing, like, but maybe you're not even there. I'm like, what are you guys even talking about? what is it it lets somebody else stick around with your game's brightness contrast and colors like preset predefined so you don't have to mess around with it you have to open up like any settings or anything like oh i wonder if like the contrast and everything was balanced out differently or you want a fresh look to it and you can find some really good ones over at um sfx.thelazy.net let's go check this out so these are some starfield man let me give you some examples of what the sweet FX comparisons look like. <laughs> sweet Jesus. So this is no reshade. Michael Rooker. This is default. There we go. Kind of get an idea of what's going on there, right? Yep. Looking a little bit better. Yeah, if you uh, ever looked up uh, ENB mods that change the visual uh, aspect in the post-processing, that was probably something that you did with the reshade nowadays. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it's contrast adjustments. What would be a good game to look at, Jordan? 
Ooh, something something like very very pretty with like easy to spell complex. by the way. Pedro. Oh, first come first serve. I don't, I don't know. Uh, GTA San Andreas, for example. Yeah, maybe. I, I was I was gonna say Bloodborne, but that's not on PC. Like, yeah, GTA Five. You say? Uh, GTA sure, 5. GTA Five works too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, what? What about what kind of shit do they have for Skyrim? Let's. Skyrim's one that everyone knows, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I'm, that, that's been around. It's been around for a minute. So uh, um, uh, that 2016 that has uh, 3,000 downloads, yeah, <laughs> all the way back. Yeah. Uh, what about this one? Or yeah, 11,000. There we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, who do we go with? We go with Elfie Man. Yes. Yeah, that's Solitude. Yeah. All right. This is uh, Sweet Effects enabled. Sweet Effects disabled. He looks yeah, a little crispier. Yeah, it's able. Yeah, it's crispy, been out in the sun soggy. a bit longer. The- <laughs> crispy, soggy, crispy, soggy, crispy, soggy. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's just sticking around with brightness and contrast. Like, some of them are, uh, oh, hang on. L- l- looks, looks a little less washed out than, than unmodified. What's a uh, neurotic automatic? Um, I got that, one. Nah. Uh, no, they the, they had like three different entries for it. So here, uh, all cap. Yeah, yeah all caps. So that's the good one. <laughs> DG's preset. I think this one had a good example of like okay. the outdoors. That this slider doesn't. Well, that's just what it looks like with it applied. Then all right, deal with it. Cool. Did it include the uh, before? There you go. There, there's some light shafts and some. Uh, HDR that the original game doesn't do. <laughs> you said shaft. Shafts all over your shaft, man. <laughs> so, and you know, Automata really is one of those. Uh, oh, it's it's a very pretty game. It's for like seriously one of the few games. Like every screenshot that you see on the Steam page, that's in game. Oh, here's one. Mm-hmm. That one's okay. Yeah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. L- l- little earthier. Yeah, because everything's washed out in this game. This is why I wanted to pull Mm -hmm. this one up, because it's just a washed out game. That was the visual style they were going for. Oh, Oh, someone's using the uh, (laughs) near replicant um, suit for 9S there. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I used his suit when I was doing the old, uh, new old near. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, you had the uh, original Nier suit for 9S in the game, yeah. and you had the 9S uh, schoolboy get up for the original Nier. <laughs> North Ranger asked, wasn't there a big reshade thing for prop? Probably. I think Minecraft has got a ton of like shade. I don't know if it, yeah. it, it might be reshade. Yes. It was either reshade or ENB, but yeah, the, there was. There's also Minecraft RTX. I want, a, I want a Minecraft mod that turns the blocks into spheres. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with the appropriate physics, so yes, everything just no cohesion. Yeah, everything's this is a giant ball pit. That'd be dope. Crash it. It's still single threaded though, so just like fucking causes your computer to start smoking. <laughs> oh man! Uh, before we get out of here, uh, we got an option if you want to get in touch with us. It's easy to do. Like, speak. Let me be real with you. I'm not gonna have a drawn out conversation with you, and I speak for all of us on like. Zitter, Mastodon, YouTube comment section. If you got some back and forths that you want to take care of that, hop into our IRC, hop into our Discord. Be happy to chat with you there. But if you got a thought, you got some hints, you got some comments, you got a hot take, you got a medium warm hell. If you got a lukewarm take, I want you to head over to Linux Gamecast, smash the contact button, pick this show. It's called Linux Gamecast. You can figure it out. Type your tippies in, smash that submit button. And we get it. And we might read it right here on this show. We got a little bit of love this week, Jordan. Yes, from uh, Mr. Froz regarding Reavers of Souls. And he says, hello, I'm one of the devs from the Soul Reaver, Reaver Decom Project. It's Frederico. Uh, we've seen your video. And after some work on that front today, the Linux build is up and running again. I wanted to let you know that we really appreciate you guys giving us some more exposure. It keeps us motivated to continue doing work in the project. I also wanted to mention that the there is currently an HD texture pack for the game out there, only for the Dreamcast version, though, which is pretty good. We aren't working on it 
working on this, but we're on 60% completion and parallel to the reverse engineering of the game code. There is a dev working on a texture editing tool for the game that's also complete. That would be cool because, yeah, getting getting off the PS1 and graphics and onto something a little more prettier. Mm-hmm. That would be dope as hell. I'm again. I'm really excited to see in like four years once you guys like have Soul Reaver playable. I'm 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 there. Hundred percent. We. I, 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 I look I forward. Love, like, I love Legacy of Kane. I love all those characters. I love that universe. I need more of it. And Crystal Dynamics hates my guts. <laughs> well, they're not owned by um, Square Enix anymore. But uh, the yeah, the Extinguisher Group. Yeah, the Extinguisher Group. Took oh, care maybe of not for long, man, because they're selling. Golf companies left and right right now. Yeah, t- t- turns yeah. out all the they, they 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 spend a lot of money and they realized, oh crap, we have to make something, don't we? Mm. Fuck. Uh huh. How do we do that? <laughs> Let's make Gollum. But, like uh, the uh, Soul Reaver and the Wipeout uh, decomps and then uh, rebuild. Oh, did you see into- the F Zero announcement? Nintendo was like, let's just mine that nostalgia. No, oh, yeah. Nintendo Direct <laughs> Might this as week. Well. They're like, hey, we're remaking F Zero, and like, I'm like oh. Uh, yeah, after people have been asking for that shit for 25 years? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it takes an unofficial decompilation of Wipeout and then make the game work on modern systems for them to get off their ass. But yeah, no, the, like the Wipeout example is perfect because they made a game that you either played on your original PlayStation or you didn't anymore because you couldn't find it anywhere else. So it is available for everyone now and i really want that and i really want the soul reaver project and i hope those two actually kickstart a um not I, the I, uh crowdfunding platform but actually start or give people a kick in the butt to uh just decompile and rebuild everything else what, when, 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 once these guys <laughs> finish Soul reaver one i really hope they go back and do two and defiance i even like blood omen too i know a lot of people didn't like that game but i did because it had played movies a, in it. i played the demo of soul reaver 2 on the ps2 <laughs> yeah yeah this, this is what we're talking about uh apparently now it builds under linux which is pretty dope oh, it, uh, good. Hang on, <laughs> yeah. let's see if they've updated these uh, building structures hey hey, hey. <laughs> Shit, oh that. shit okay fix this bullshit nobody wants to do this well all, all, all one line all, all one line all, all one yeah that that that's that's gonna yeah fix that um i'll tell you that that's that's really nice uh clone get okay yeah easy enough to do yeah. see make yep execute generate project files when they're doing okay cool yeah, i have to clone it oh, they're, 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 okay they're, so there's they're, some links to other uh repos there yeah that just means you can <laughs> go get some yeah, drink here's like the uh yeah. the, 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 main, the main one is like a like a dreamcast reverse engineering library mm-hmm. that's that's the that's the big one but yeah uh so no re- really really excited to see that really uh really excited to see where this project goes let us know maybe come on the show talk about soul reaver talk about I dare you moody vampires we have the technology <laughs> pedro dresses a moody vampire So how I usually dress? No. Mm-mm. Oh, I have to be glitter. more moody. Okay. Yeah. I'll, you, I'll you, ask Nori. I'm just, sure she'll love the idea. You, you, <laughs> clown you, you, you just need to like take an entire like bucket, like a mop bucket of glitter and dump it on your head. Yes. <laughs> but you need to be misted first. So that's where Nori comes in. Yeah. It's sp- right. Okay. Spray, yeah. spray down with some oil. Yeah, yeah, we don't something. want you to dry out. We don't want to damage your skin. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah. <laughs> Do it, coward. Yeah, <laughs> and on that oil Petro bombshell, I need to buy the clothes first. <laughs> what clothes? You think um, you're going to be wearing clothes through this entire thing? Hell no. Just a blindfold if that counts. Hey, if you would like to support our glitter purchasing habit, you can by heading over to our web zone, LinuxTeamCast.com. We got a support button. A couple of ways to help us out. The biggest one: just share the show. You see it posted somewhere. Give it a retweet. Give it a retweet. Give it a re whatever the hell you do on the Facebook that thing. Thumbs Reface. up if you watch it, like and subscribe, all that. That helps more than you absolutely know. And big thanks to everybody who already does that. We do want to thank all of our patrons making the show possible. If you want to become one of those, click on that button. We got LibrePay, we got PayPal, one time donations. You want to buy a 50 gallon? I'm not even looking for a 50 gallon thing of glitter because 
No. <laughs> I don't know if the glitter one exists. The lube does, but not the glitter. I don't know. Wait, can you can you get glittery lube, or can you? Do you have to like buy? We're a not going down that fucking rabbit hole. No, just stop. Get that out of your head. It, but it's all lubed up already. Nope. Uh, hey, if you want to pick us up some presents, where we will publicly thank you online, we got some Amazon wish lists. It's been a while since I've creeped on uh, everybody's wish list. Let's go have a. Oh, and it's out of stock. Nah. Boo. <laughs> yeah. But Jordan, Jordan wants a 7800 XT. He wants a ribbon cable and whatever that is. Oh, the SATA thing. Mic arms. All right. All right. I, I, I need I need the ribbon cable for the SATA thing because my GPU takes up too many slots. Um, Let's see what Pedro's got on his. He's got that funky USB C? USB A to C? Yeah. C to C. <laughs> That's C? To C? No, the A to C. Sorry. From Thank C you. to shine. I already have the C, C to C. I, I'm confused. <laughs> Um, he's also, he has that fan.tm, which is kind of brilliant. It's got some you crucial guys talked it up. I kind of want, um, <laughs> SSDs, uh, auto jumper. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Air, air fryer. Yeah. Power backs, uh, slash auto jumper. Yes. <laughs> now, if you want to end up on this wall back here, it's going to cost you. Get, I, I don't know. I think I probably got some stupid cheap on here. Let me see. Where is mine? Uh, we got the Epic motherboard. Any fucking takers on that? Uh, <laughs> bullshit. Uh, you know what? E- ECC memory is not that expensive. That's not yeah, yeah. Th- that for 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 thirty two gigs for seventy two gigs. That's, R- that's, that's very two hundred. Yeah, um, okay. that, that is incredibly reasonable. We have the Goth cheese grater. Uh, one of those Zim boards, lenses. Yeah, this is pretty I cheap. I thought that was a Roomba for a second. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, the Nikon Roomba AF man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do either of you have one of these any experience with these no i guess i guess no. they're just like little hanger thingies yeah, yeah you just like uh apparently it screws in and it faces backwards which is yeah keeps it, it so out of that the, way. The, the headphones are under the desk yeah and people don't yeah. knock them i over have one of those bullshit things. situations where i have the actual use for that Mm-hmm. The the only thing I would be worried about is like having my thigh just like smack that if you're turning around. Yeah. Uh, well, I, it'll be under the desk, so like on the, uh, the other desk. Okay. Yeah. So. Like yeah, my side desk, man, not my main desk. Man. No, my, your, my your, side, your desk. side piece. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> get, get get you a little something on the side. We got all that going on. Um, bunch of other ways. Go check it out if you get a chance. We got an Amazon storefront. If you want some merch. Oh, speaking speaking of Amazon, Bezos bucks. Bezos bucks. Oh, right. Speaking of Bezos box, Twitch. Speaking of Twitch, nubbin. 40 months resub. Look at that. We tied it together. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, we did it. Fashion hall. <laughs> thank you for the resub, nubbin. Uh, yeah, we got a store. You want to get some LGC merch? You want to get some stickers? You want to get some shirts? Anything you can. We, we get a little cut of that. And it's all homemade stuff. So it's LGC. Actually, the material we won't the charge you. Good. We won't charge you every time you wear the shirt, unlike Unity. Only every time you take it off. <laughs> we charge for uninstalls, so removals. Yes, we're going to start charging for uninstalls of our merch. <laughs> and uh, I think, oh yeah, humble affiliate. Uh, if you see stuff on our web zone or stuff I've reviewed for interfacing Linux or things like that, you can click. And if you buy something, you know, however that works. How much is twenty? How much glitter is twenty five pounds of glitter? Because no. like, because <laughs> like glitter doesn't weigh that much. So how much pounds. is glitter glay? Uh, glitter glay. The glitter way. Probably <laughs> enough to have a federal agent show up at your house asking questions. A very sparkly federal agent. I'm with I'm with the Department of Glitter of the Department of Interior Glitter. No, it's Department of Glitter, man. Like really? Like fucking real. Let me see some ID. Whips it up. Whips it out. It's fuck you can't see it because it's all shiny. You're just like, oh my eyes. That, that, and that's when they break into your house and steal all your stuff. <laughs> that's how they get you, man. That's all a ploy, but big glitter. You better watch out. Ladies and gentlemen, on that bombshell, we're going to cue the music and get the fuck out of here. Uh, thanks again, Shot Michaud. Shot Michaud, yes. T- take a shot, Michaud. Scott Michaud. <laughs> Scott Michaud. Uh, for hopping in at the beginning of the show, talking about some Linuxy stuff, along with some Unity stuff. Good on you, mate. If you want to get in touch with me, just at Vinstone, I'm still on Zitter. Or we have a Mastodon Federated Timeline instance of tooting at mast.linuxgamecast.com. All that information is linked on the web zone. You can find it wherever popular VIN products are located. 
that, that I guess that would be store.linuxcubecast.com. I'm Jordan. I'm your favorite sparkly vampire. You can find me. No, I'm not going to. No, I was going to make a joke about waiting outside schools, but, you know, that's not, not, not cool at all. Don't do it. Don't, <laughs> Don't do explain it. it. At, yeah. At the Burning Fool on, on, on X Twitter or whatever. At Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. On mass.linuxgamecast.com. Dot com, yeah. And soon you will be able to find me in the nude playing the moody vampire somewhere. I guess we're going to find that out together. Uh, you can find me on mass.linuxgamecast.com. That's at unaccounted four with the actual number four at the end. So, yeah, follow me there. I, I don't post much. I retweet things occasionally. I will be uh, <laughs> accepting uh, game proposals for Pedro the Moody Sparkly Vampire. Pedro the <laughs> Sparkly <laughs> Vampire. <laughs> Had a very coked up nose. <laughs> Time for some credits. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see if Nubbin's in the correct place in the credits this week. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta thank our advisors, Omegas and our Theron and our executive producers, Bob Ramp, Scott Michaud, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Drummer, Tomaj, Shakim David, Eshep, and Ian, and our little Nick fans, Super Destote, Empty, Glorious Egg World, Blasphemia, and oh look, Nubbin's there. Yes, and the Sea Monsters, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Tr- uh, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Nubbin, again, uh, <laughs> Darkwing, System D, Dancing Joe, Ogi One, and Kyrella. It's not going to show up on all of them. No, it's, it's not fucking well next week. God damn it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just all nubbin, like all yeah, the names. Nubbin, 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 nubbin. <laughs> all of our fine upstanding cannibals in the wall behind me: Carl, Micro, Theoretics, New Aldi, is Noctilus, John E. Shep, Game of Tron, you know, Diaz, and Joe Aromatic, Dev, and Kai Jorai. Thank you very much. Till next week. Hopefully, Unity will be around. It will be a slow crash and burn process. And it's, know, like, feel- it's like NASCAR. I feel bad for everybody working there right now because there's nobody like remotely yeah, the, the outside of sea levels. There. Yeah, going. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Done by everyone. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Five dudes. <laughs> <laughs>